Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a walkthrough of the Arizona Cloud app. So let's just get right into it. So if we go into the Arizona Cloud app here, this is what you're first going to see when you come up. Um, it's basically kind of like a home screen where if you have different zones and things, you're going to see those in different boxes. So because we only have just one HVAC, uh, central HVAC system, we don't have any mini, mini splits or anything. You just see this one HVAC uh, square here. So let's go. I'll save that for a little bit. So that's basically you can, you know, get in there, turn it on, do whatever you want. So if we go through the other parts of the uh, screen here, uh, down at the bottom, you can hit scheduling and you can schedule whatever you want. I believe it's up to 25 different lines you can have. So we're never going to get that many, but if, you know, for whatever reason you want to, you can do that. Um, you know, if you just go into one of these, it's pretty simple. Just name it, enable. You want to set the HVAC system, the days, the time, you know, heating, cooling, whatever you want, temperature and fan speed. And then you just do edit schedule or if it's new, it'll say like save schedule. So that's scheduling. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I am not sure what scenes are. I want to say this is something where you just, its it was talking about action. So if something happens, it, you know, reacts to that. So I, I don't use this, but this is something on here too. And then down in the bottom right is settings. And this is just, uh, you know, site settings, I guess, for your HVAC system. So you can change your icon, you can change your location, um, different icons and things like that. And then your electric electricity, if you want to configure that as well. So that's something that you can look for. So let's just go into the actual app. So if we go back to zones here on the bottom left, you hit the uh, HVAC zone. This is what you're going to see. So at the top is the temperature that it's set at right now if you were to turn it on so you can hit the pluses hit the minuses to change that or you can just drag the right now i have it on heating so you can drag that do whatever you want so i'll put that back to 68 and then in the middle the home icon that you chose from the uh, other screen is showing there and that's telling you the temperature on the thermostat so 69 degrees uh, is the temperature on our thermostat and so if we look at the uh, bottom here, you're going to see mode, bottom left, mode. So obviously you want heating, cooling, or you just want the fan on, whatever. You can choose that there. On off button, self-explanatory. Timer, you can set the timer for 30, 60, 90 minutes like an old TV. You could do that if you want. Fan speed, so I have it set on auto, but you can obviously change that if you want. Um, so... Set on auto, you hit, hit it again, and then you can actually change the fan speed and then just hit done. And then it'll, you know, do its thing. And then more is kind of cool. This settings button on the left here, I don't know what this is. LED state, I have no idea what that is. So I just left that. But this graph is pretty cool because it tells you a lot of information of, you know, what your HVAC has been doing. So if we kind of go through, I guess, top to bottom, you'll see the sun. So heating is set at 68. Um, you know, at some point today, the house was 69 degrees and the temperature outside, the clouds is 58 degrees. That's right now at 11.50 a.m. And you can scroll back and it actually changes based on the time and stuff. So if we look, if we look at the actual graph, all this gray is basically the HVAC wasn't on. And... Let's see. Yeah, so if we go to 4 a.m., it turned on at 4 a.m. And if we look back at the top here where the sun is, it says I had it set at 66. The house was also 66 and outside was 53. So if we look down a little bit to the bottom where the green matches the bottom left, it says comfort. So basically what that means is it was turned on. The HVAC was turned on, but I think the fan was just on. And then if we go over here to 6 a.m., You'll see the house temperature is 67, but the HVAC was set at 68. So at that point, the HVAC is like, okay, it's kind of cold in here. So it actually turned on. So if we look back at the bottom, this orangey reddish color, uh, bottom right-ish, it says heat. So basically what that means is that HVAC actually turned on and was producing warm air, you know, sending it through our centralized system. So it's kind of cool. It tells you. And then I guess at uh, about 6, yeah, I guess about 640. It decided, okay, 
it's warm enough now. The house is 68. You have it set at 68. Cool. So it shut off the actual heat, like the hot air part. And just, I think the fan was just going on still. So it's kind of cool. This, this, uh, uh, screen gives you a lot of data on all sorts of stuff. And then it gives you a little bit, a summary at the bottom here. So it's pretty nice. This is really nice to use if you're into data and stuff like that. And then if we go back, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just for us, it's easy on off is pretty much all we use and scheduling a little bit. And if we go to the top left here, so on this main screen at the top tells you your temperature. You can only put in your home city. So it tells you the temperature of the home city. And we go to the upper left, the lines. Sites is basically this here. My account, I'm not going to go in there, but it's just basic account stuff like, oh, you know, your name and all that stuff. Notifications is for your inbox. I don't have any. And then configuration wizard is basically if you want to set up a unit so you can search units or you can link manually. And then air tools, I don't know what this is either. It just has your home city and then it looks like Bluetooth at the bottom. So that's pretty much it. Um, that was just a quick walkthrough of the Arizona Cloud app. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. It's pretty easy to use. I like it and actually works. So uh, it's a good, it's a good uh, solution for your, you know, to have app access to your heat pump HVAC system. Is that, if that's what you're looking for and your, you know, manufacturing one's not working all that good. This one works pretty well for us. So um, yeah, that's the walkthrough. If you have any questions, let me know below. Hope it helped and thanks for watching.